What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel where I do weekly pick a card readings that challenge you to explore all things growth. And these are our July 2021 predictions. All you got to do is pick a pile. Shout out to my subscribers. I love you guys so much. My channel is growing more and more every day. Thank you for purchasing items out of my corner store, for purchasing personal readings, and for uh, your donations. If you're new to my channel, um, um, all you're gonna do is take a deep mindful breath in make sure your lungs fill completely and meditate on the separate piles here if you're drawn to more than one pile that simply means there's more than one message out there for you but let's keep in mind however that this is a general collective and not everything will resonate with you so keep on the table what doesn't and pick up what does all right we have pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four the timestamps will be in the description down below, so when you're ready, let's grow. What's up, Pile 1? You chose the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. These are your July 2021 predictions. We're just going to get right into it. What does Pile 1 need to know about the month of July? What does Pile 1 need to know about the month of July? July for Pile 1. Sorry about that, Paul. One, I want to make sure I got all the um, cards on the table here. Okay, so it looks like you're really picking and choosing who your friends are in the month of July. You're being very, very cautious about the energy that you're letting in in the month of July. It looks like you're abandoning a few situations because you're feeling like um, uh, you're being taken advantage of. You have to really be uh, careful about somebody in the month of July trying to take from you. Um, you really need to start getting very rigid with how you share your energy and how you share your knowledge and how you share your love. In the month of July, you're really going to find the emotional stability to be able to find the strength to cut out the people and the friends that aren't serving you. For a lot of you guys, it's a friendship that um, you've been holding on to tightly and you really, the truth just needs to come out. There's some lies, there's some deceit going on and um <clears throat> you really just have to uh speak up and make sure you're speaking from a place of love and not uh and things don't get heated and overly emotional um yeah but there are some things that you are walking away from because it's just too much your intuition has been telling you for a long time that you need to free yourself from um <clears throat> these negative energies um some of you guys are uh, needing to free yourself from negative energy because you're trying to nurture something new. You're either trying to create um, a new life, a new family, a new career. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you walk away from this negative energy because there are there is some powerful energy trying to come in. I see new love trying to come in for a lot of you guys that have been waiting on a relationship. And it's going to be... Um, I hate to use the word the one, but it's definitely going to be structured and stable and you're definitely going to be happy. There's going to be a lot of uh, passion and drive, but um, you need to start uh, organizing in the month of July. So once you find the strength to walk away from this negative energy, a lot of you, it's a friendship. A lot of you, it's a group of friends. A lot, a lot of you <clears throat> are in a situation to where you can't move forward because uh, you have people riding your coattails and they're kind of dragging you back. Or you have friends that you want to stay friends with because they've been your friends forever and you want them to succeed. But you're wasting your time and your own potential trying to get them to succeed in areas where you can just completely thrive in so um <clears throat> that's where a lot of you are at right now is just trying to walk away from that but uh 
emotional fulfillment I'm seeing in the month of July. Once you walk away from these negative energies, um, a new love life is going to come in, some new celebrations, some new friendships are going to come in that like actual soul drive. You're going to take the things that you learned from your past experiences and use them to help heal and connect other people. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> really, really look out in the month of July for someone trying to take more than they give. And a lot of you, it's a baby daddy, baby mama situation. It's somebody that you either had kids with or you had a past with and they are going to try to um, just consume you in the month of July. I don't know what it is about the summer that got the motherfuckers acting crazy, but yeah. Somebody's going to come out this summer and try to uh, betray you, betray you. So for the month of July, I'm seeing some abundance, some emotional stability. You really freeing yourself of the things that are burdening you. You finding that new, you connecting with like a new soul tribe uh, because you've walked away from these negative energies that aren't, aren't serving you. Your cup is going to flow because this new energy, this Prince of Cups is wanting to offer you this emotional fulfillment. But you need to start getting rigid, very rigid, very organized in the month of um, July really putting up boundaries in the month of July, really uh, speaking up. A lot of you have a crazy block throat chakra to where either you're communicating from a place to where you're super defensive, super emotional, or you're just not expressing your true desires at all. And the month of July is your time to do that. I don't know what is going to um, help you find the strength. <clears throat> Actually, I'm lying. I do know what it is. It's you walking away from this negative energy and finding help amongst your peers or amongst someone new. I see um, a lot of you guys trying a new diet or just um, enjoying yourself more when you're consuming food. I don't see a super overconsumption going on in the month of <clears throat> in the month of July. Drink lots and lots of water. I see some detoxing happening in the month of July for a lot of you guys. A lot of water being consumed and um, getting that clarity that you're looking for. Um, yeah, so July is about movement. It's about freeing yourself. The things that you already intuitively know that you need to let go of. A lot of you guys really need to speak up about your true desires and they will come in if there's somebody that you are passionate about and you want to start a relationship with them you have to um you have to shoot your shot that person isn't going to come around if that's what you're waiting for they're not going to come around until they've seen that you're clear from this negative energy so you do have an energy waiting and watching and seeing what your next move is but they're not going to do anything until they know that you're free and that you're not burdened anymore you have a burden that's weighing you down right now and you really need to walk away and free yourself from that energy. You know what energy I'm talking about. You may not know what energy I'm talking about is this new love that may come in because um, from some of you it may be unexpected. <clears throat> but yeah, great stuff in July. Great stuff in July. A lot of throat chakra healing though. A lot of communicating from clarity. A lot of uh, voicing your true desires, a lot of just getting rid of the betrayal, the lies that are being told around you from some friends. A lot of you, it's happening. And from for some of you, it's a lover that's going to come in and try to betray you. And you really need to look out for that because that emotional stability is right in the palm of your hands in the, in the month of July. As soon as you walk away from these things that are burdening you. All right, pile one, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it is completely free to join my tribe. If you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself, you can book that at thehoodredhippie.com. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day and always be mindful of your growth. What's up, pile two? You chose the Practical Magic deck. This is your July 2021 predictions. We're just going to get right into it. What does Pile 2 need to know for the month of July? 
What does pile two need to know for the month of July? July, pile two. All right, so um, January, uh, excuse me, July is all about your independence and just kind of um, sharing your creative aspects to the people that you really want to. I feel like um, you really have to start chasing after your dream in the month of July. You have your guides that have been trying to tell you this, I, I feel like um, you've been afraid to move forward, but your spirit guides are all up in your face telling you that it's all on you, that um, any of the challenges that you're facing right now, you're kind of putting yourself in there. Any of the um, things that you're missing out on, it's not because of somebody else. It's not because of um, any type of manipulation right now, it seems like pile two. It seems like all of the decisions that you need to make. Um, <sighs> you need to make on your own, unfortunately. Um, you have a very strong intuition that you're not tapping into because you're too concerned about what other people think or what other people might feel about this thing that you want to put out. A lot of you guys are artists. A lot of you guys may be cooks and want to put out, um, uh, I see some of you guys wanting to put out desserts or some type of pastry or maybe like, um, and on the other side, some of you guys are wanting to put out like a health food and, uh, uh, for the majority of you, it's just an art or a piece of yourself that you're trying to get out in the world as like a healer or a leader of some sort. But um, you do have the potential to uh, be successful in this endeavor if you just stop caring about what other people think and stop trying to get the guidance of people that aren't in a position that you would like to be in. You're very intuitive, you're very creative, you're very magical, um, you're very gifted, very talented. You're just not listening to your guides. I feel like you have a connection with them, but um, the guidance, you're just not seeing where the direction that they're trying to push you in because of a lack of focus right now. So you really need to sit still, meditate, so that you can really see what your guides are trying to tell you. <clears throat> you have the potential to get over any type of hurdle that you feel like you're approaching right now because you are divinely guided. Some self-love needs to happen. Some definitely some grounding needs to happen. Just kind of slowing down and connecting with yourself intuitively and with your higher power so you know which direction to take with this art that you want to put out or this food blog or whatever it is. Um, I feel like one of you guys want to be like a, a travel blogger or something like that, putting your art out into the world, communicating to the world in a place of love, uh, being a healer of some sort. And you can do that. Some of you guys are trying to uh, create things for children or trying to create children in your own world. And you can do that by just simply um, knowing that, believing in yourself. Um, believing back into your your faith 
I see some sweetness coming into your life, just bountiful, fruitful. Um, and it comes from a place of you giving. It comes from, um, I feel like you can make money off of the healing powers that you possess. I feel like you're very, um, it's like you want to contribute, you want to just be of service, and you can do that. I feel like a lot of you guys don't realize that that's what your true path and true potential is, is just to kind of be of service and to heal people. You may be down and feeling like, oh, I, I attract these raggedy people all the time, but they're putting your life for a reason, pile two. Um, not to take away your, your uh, not to take away any of your light. That's not what these people are putting your life for. They're not put in your life to depress you or to bring you down. Um, they're put in your life so that you can be the light that they that they need. Some people just need that spark and you you have the ability to give that. But don't give too much then you can. Don't burn yourself out by giving too much. How to. So um I really see you falling in love with yourself in the month of July because of some success. And the success is coming through your own intuition and your guides and your own art. Um, you really have to use discernment in July because I feel like you have people in your ear telling you one thing, but your drive and your determination and your intuition is telling you another. Your guides are definitely telling you something. You got a spirit guide up in your face right here, but you're kind of busy and kind of working on these recipes or this art that you want to do. And you have a spirit guide trying to guide you right here, but, um, you're feeling like Miss Independent or Mr. Independent, whatever it is, take it how it resonates. And uh, you're not stopping to observe what your spirit guides are telling you. It's just all work, work, work. And um, not in tuning with yourself. So um, self-love in July, connecting with your spirit guides. They're really trying to guide you to make the right decision as far as this thing that you want to put out into the world. Um, <clears throat> you can do it. Please have faith in yourself. You just really got to increase the faith in the month of July, I see some growth happening from you because you finally stopped listening to bullshit advice. Pile two. You really stopped listening to uh, bullshit advice. You start focusing on yourself. A lot of focusing on yourself. I don't feel like a lot of you guys have relationship issues in this pile. Um, I just see love, just people being surrounded by love in the month of July. So no worries there. Um, yeah, hopes, dreams, and inspirations need to be your focus in the month of July. And you need to make sure that you're the only one making the decisions on that aspect. And you're not letting somebody else come in and make those decisions for you. Well, too. Love and just you taking charge in the month of July. And just realizing that it's all on you and not, uh, not letting that get you down. Using that to excite you, being like, yeah, this is all on me. I am creating this life for myself and not being like, oh, why do I always have to do this shit by myself? Because once you start focusing on yourself, it won't feel like that anymore. All the love and you'll just be a star, center of attention. Just all this love will come in. Success, success, success. I just see a bright future for you. All right, pile two, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it is completely free to join my tribe. If you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself, you can book that at thehoodradhippie.com. Until next time, you have a wonderful day and always be mindful of your growth. What's up, pile three? You chose the 420 tarot. This is your July 2021 predictions. We're just going to get right into it. What does Pile 3 need to know for the month of July? What does Pile 3 need to know for the month of July? July. Pile 3.
All right, pile three. There's some cycles going on in July. I feel like there's going to be some ups and downs in July. I feel like some of us are moving out of a relationship and moving into another one. Um, I feel like some of us are kind of moving away from things that are consuming us or we may be over consuming. Um, some balance needs to be had in July. You really need to start um, paying close attention to the things that you're consuming. A lot of you guys, it may be alcohol, um, and a lot of you guys, it's uh, work. You're on the verge of burnout. Um, some of you guys may be burdening yourself with a relationship that isn't serving you. But I do see you stepping away from that cycle. That cycle is uh, ending in July. Because you're really finding that balance between um, yourself and other people. Um, you're setting up boundaries. You're finding more faith. You're putting yourself out there more. I feel like a lot of you guys are lacking the confidence to just kind of step out and be your true self. Um, I... I still feel like in July, some fuckboys are going to be attracted and you really have to start uh, paying attention and using, you have to start loving yourself more so you can start picking better partners, pal three, if I just going to put that out there. Because if you don't, everything is going to fall apart. I feel like you're building relationships on rock, uh, not solid foundations because you're not truly in tune with yourself and the baggage that you bring to relationships. Um, some healing needs to happen before we start a new relationship. But once we heal, once we start this healing process and realize that maybe we might be a little uh, self-centered, we might um, hold on to things a little too tightly. We may try to control things that are out of our control um, and just loosen up a little bit, pile three. Then these up and down and in and out cycles will stop because you're living on pure faith and not you trying to control every aspect of everyone's life. Um, you're holding on super tight to something. You're definitely wanting to budget and organize and make sure that your, your money is in a good state in July. But as far as controlling everything, July is the time to give up control and just start increasing the faith. I feel like, um... You've been trying and trying and trying to catch something. You've been chasing something. But in July, you need to start attracting something through this shadow work, through the self-love work, through this um, balance. Um, a lot of you <clears throat> need to try a new diet. And that'll help attract this love in that you've been seeking. Some of y'all have been fishing for something and just haven't been catching the right ones. And it's pissing you off and it's making you feel less than. Some of you may have gained a little bit of weight and it's making you feel less than. Some of you guys may have people coming in, dicks, telling you that you're less than. And you have to stop listening to that shit. Some of you... um may have a, a depression that's triggered by alcohol and you have to start being honest with yourself about that. Pile three. But yeah, if you don't start working on your foundation, which is your base, which is you, pile three, and not running after these things that aren't serving you, everything is gonna fall apart in July got the tower card here
So if you're holding on tightly to a relationship that you know isn't serving you, or you're trying to control some an aspect of your life that you know isn't serving you, just out of spite or out of envy or because you feel like you have to, like as soon as you let go, the key is letting go in July. The key is letting go, letting go of bad habits, past habits, old relationships that aren't serving you. I just see things getting a little bit rough before they get better. You have to find that faith and put yourself out there more to find that security you're looking for. I feel like there's too much of a desperation and you have to find out where that desperation is coming from. You really have to connect with yourself and find some balance and some joy within yourself and not seek it from someone else. You are attracting a love, but you are attracting fuckboys as well. We need to get out of this fuckboy cycle and get more into this Knight of Cups cycle. This person that wants to bring you fulfillment and stability. But that's coming through you get stepping out of these cycles and just having more faith and less control. More faith and less control in July. That's hard for you because you're being impatient. You want things now and unfortunately you got to believe in that divine timing. Pile three. All right, so if you're thinking about that new diet, get on that new diet. You need to meditate, you need to ground, you need some shadow work so you can feel, uh, uh, wash away these feelings of being less than. You need to cut out the fuck boys or whoever that's making you believe that you're less than because there's somebody right here smack dab in the center that's waiting to come to you and bring you the stability but it's going to be after a rocky point because there's some work that needs to be done. Pile three, unfortunately, there's a lot of work in July, a lot of self reflection that needs to happen in July, a lot of letting go. All right, pile three, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it is completely free to join my tribe. If you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself, you can book that at thehoodredhippie.com. Until next time, you have a wonderful day and always be mindful of your growth. What's up, pile four? You chose the animal tarot. These are your July 2021 predictions. We're just going to get right into it. What does Pile 4 need to know about the month of July? What does Pile 4 need to know about the month of July? It's July for Pile 4. This is July for Pile 4. All right, pile four, I just want to make everything sit here. Okay, so um, July is the time we're going to take time for contemplation and go within. With all these purple cards on the table, it seems like um, you may be consumed with a little bit of negative thought. You might be consumed with um, 
too much thought of material things and not um, on your own uh, inner work. I see a lot of changes, quick changes, a lot of transformation coming up for you. I see you, man, you the things that you have been working for uh, uh, coming up for you, like you really completing all of the work in, in July. Um, you're kind of underestimating yourself because of uh, being impatient, because of having to work and been working in so hard, like you have been struggling and working, but the success is on its way. Some rapid changes are coming in for you. You have a very, very gifted uh, manifestation power, but you let your ego get in the way of it. We have the magician and we have ego here. And then over here, it says, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. So right now we're consumed with negative thought and not that bad bitch thought, that change, transformation, growth thought that we need to be getting into, that we need to really be stepping into. Right now, uh, you're working very, very, very hard, but July is the time to play, 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 to reflect on the work that you put in, to kind of release things to spirit so that um, you can be shown that everything is blossoming. Like I, all I see is change and transformation. That's all I see for you is growth, change, transformation. We got a butterfly there. We got a butterfly there. We have a butterfly there. We have a butterfly right there. We have to let go of the ego. We have to um, stop letting pride get in our way in July. You can manifest. Know that. What's stopping you right now is just a negative thought pattern. You're hard-headed. You don't listen. You just put your head down and go, go, go until you burn out. And then you desperately need a vacation. You take a little bit of vacation. Hardly replenish yourself. And then you're back on the grind again because you do see some success in that. But where you're really going to find true success is by going within and just being a light for other people in the month of July. Instead of working on yourself, you're just going to be the light for other people's healing in the month of July. You're going to uh, ask for help as far as these negative thought patterns, either from these butterfly ass guys that are flying around you all the time. Or you're just going to get help with that because you're being drained by this negative thought pattern. You need to get that color back into your feathers. Let yourself shine, strut this summer. July is about play, about putting yourself out there, about reflecting and going within and being a light for other people, about letting go of these uh, material demands that you have and getting more spiritual less material more spiritual in the month of july because you can make it happen in july you're going to clash with somebody else you're going to bump heads with somebody else you may intuitively know who that's going to be but um you have to decide whether or not those matters are worth your energy. Do not let other people's bullshit bump you off of your path. Yes, you need to be the light for people that are lacking energy in July. But don't just let them suck everything from you. Do not let conflict in the month of July, because there will be some, Um, minimize you. You can get rid of all of this negative thought pattern and you can get rid of any conflict magically without having to sacrifice your goals or your beliefs. You have that magic. You have a divine power. So in July, I see these changes coming through the work that you put in. I see you being a light for other people. I see you transforming, maybe a, um, a spiritual transformation, 
maybe some of you guys have been putting that shadow work in and it's finally you're finally coming out the other side of it but you're going to let go of your ego you're going to let go of these material leads and just be a guide for other people you're going to accept these changes and not fear the changes as they come in because it's going to be rapid change that happens for you and it's through your own magic everything that you dreamt of everything that you're trying to create is going to start showing itself to you in july and that is magical as soon as we get rid of this ego or find a way to work with it you're working too hard you need a vacation july is the time for play do not let anybody that wants to bump heads with you bump you off your path in July because it's going to happen. Somebody's going to try to come and bump you off your path. But we need to get out of this ram hard-headed spirit and back into this unicorn. I got my magic going on spirit. All right, change, transformation, and growth. That is your reading. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free to join my tribe. Um, if you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself, you can book that at thehoodradhippie.com. Until next time, you have a wonderful day. And always be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive default. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.